Was there honestly any doubt being able to make plays like this definitely warrants a Heisman Trophy? And tonight, in record fashion, Joe Burrow took home college football's most prestigious award, giving LSU their first Heisman winner in 60 years. The college coaching grind is such a grind, and to really be able to take some time off of that and to really just come here and just spend some time as a father, just how big is that for you? It's relaxing. It's time me and Kelly got to spend some time. It was a game that had arguably the most interesting storyline of the week, and it certainly lived up to the hype. Not only was it number one versus number two, but it was Hathaway's Courtney Young against her former coach, Kyle Jenks. Also, a good note for you guys at home, sprinkle honey on the bun. It's a game changer. I never heard about that before, but I'm going to have to try that. It's pretty solid. Guys, when the schedule first came out, this was a game I had circled on my calendar. Tonight, we'll see two of our top teams in Leesville and LCCP go at it for the first time ever, and we'll find out a lot about each squad by the time this one is over. 29, that's the number of consecutive wins by the defending national champion, Clemson Tigers, with their last loss coming on this very field. And though the team share mascots, both Clemson and LSU have had completely different journeys to get to this point. Early in the second, it'd be the Saints defense now coming up huge. A.J. Klein with an amazing read coming up with the interception. He takes it to the crib for six. Saints telling the Panthers to go ahead and pass the sticks. While Frank Wilson's tenure at UTSA didn't go the way he would have hoped, he says he feels he left the program better than when he found it four seasons ago. His next task is trying to do the same back here in his home state as the new head coach of the Pokes, a job he wanted from the time it became open. DeRitter native Kimmy Rushford didn't have to look far to become inspired to start pole vaulting after growing up playing soccer, softball, and running cross country. Rushford's older sister Jacqueline helped pave the way. Watching her being a harder worker as she was, um, she's just the most disciplined person that I've ever met and the hardest worker that I've ever met. And her being a role model for me really, really pushed me to just excel at everything that I do. During Rushford's time as a Lady Dragon, she won three state titles and set a school record with a pole vault of 12 feet, six inches. It was incredible. I didn't even think that I had it in me to win a state championship. That just was not, was not even in the question when I started pole vaulting. I was just doing it just because it was fun. And then, you know, when I got to do it during the summers and competitively, I realized, okay, this is something that I really want to be good at. After being recruited by multiple Division I schools, Rushford ultimately decided to sign with UL Lafayette, and it was there where she formed a new relationship that would turn things around for her. As soon as I found my faith, everything started falling into place. And uh, that that just rang true for all my practices. You know, I, I just knew each time I picked up a pole my junior year that I was gonna jump just out of my mind just so well. And just like her junior year at DeRitter, a pole vault of 12 feet, six inches would propel her to the top of the Sun Belt Conference in 2019. God just took me and, and literally just threw me over the bar. <laughs> um, but I mean, that, that's really what happened because my freshman sophomore year, I kind of jumped okay, but just, just the consistency of how high I was jumping just throughout my junior year was, was the best year of college so far, to for sure. Though the pandemic put a dent in Rushford's senior campaign, she was still able to earn her degree in psychology this month. With the NCAA recently voting to award spring sport athletes an extra year of eligibility, Rushford plans to take advantage. Oh no, I couldn't do that if I tried. I'm definitely coming back. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all I've been thinking about. I'm gonna choose my graduate school based on whatever education I think is best fit. And then the plan is hopefully once I get accepted, give the coach wherever I'm going a phone call if it's not UL and say, hey, you know, this is what I want to do. I have a year of eligibility left, even if I can walk on. Um, I would love to be part of the team just because, like I said earlier, I just want to say goodbye to it well. This fall, you might catch Eric Renee on the football field as a walk-on linebacker for McNeese, but there's more to this cowboy than meets the eye. In my freshman year, the bowling team was short on people and my football coach had asked me to step in, so I've kind of been hooked on it since then. Renee has only been bowling for about five years now and has already noticed plenty of growth in just a short period of time. I would say my attitude has gotten a lot better over time and I'm just a lot more consistent now than I was. Renee was the bowling team captain for his entire career at LaGrange and was named the Lake Area Youth Bowler of the Year in 2018. He recently had the opportunity to compete on a larger stage at the Junior Gold Bowling Championship in Detroit. The training required a lot of long hours, traveling, and patience because it also put me through a lot of things I haven't been through, like different conditions, i say, and it made it a lot harder. But Renee still made the most of his opportunity in the Motor City. 
He was just one of seven to compete in the event from Louisiana and had a single game high score of 258. It was a huge honor to be considered one of the best and also compete against the best of the best. The experience was great, but also humbling, but it also showed me that I needed to keep working harder for next year. After finishing as the 333rd ranked team in the nation in three-point percentage two seasons ago, Heath Shoyer knew he had to find the right pieces to help improve that statistic. Enter Drew Cookshausen. Coach Shoyer came out and he had, he had offered me on the spot. And, uh, you know, I had, they, they gave me the most attention out of any school, so I felt like I would, it would be in my best interest to come to McNeese. From the time he arrived in Lake Charles, the junior hit the ground running, claiming that he shot nearly 50,000 shots during the summer. He says a pivotal moment in his transition to McNeese was the team's trip to the Bahamas in August. That gave us better team chemistry and allowed us to gel better together. And also, we were all pretty new to McNeese, so it, it gave us an opportunity to, to get to know each other a little better and to bond off the court as well. Once the season came along, it didn't take long for Cookshausen to win over the Cowboy faithful and etch his name in the record books. In December, he set a new McNeese single game record with 10 three-pointers made against Paul Quinn College. More records would fall as the season went on. Cookshausen would eventually set the school and Southland Conference record with 125 threes made. That total was also good for the top spot in the nation this past season. We've always known that I'm capable of doing something like that. It's just the, uh, the matter of getting the opportunity to do it. And Coach Shorter and McNeese gave me the opportunity. And, you know, my teammates helped me out. My coaches drew up good things for me. But of the 125, there's one that Cookshausen and Cowboy fans will remember for years to come. I would have to say the Lamar won at the end of the season. That's my all-time favorite. I never hit a game winner before, so that, that was my first game winning shot. I was super happy when I hit the shot, not only for... For me and the guys on the team, but just, just for everyone at McNeese. That shot sent the Pokes to the SLC tournament for the first time since 2016. Now that the Pokes have the conference on notice, Cookshausen plans to help the program take the next step as a senior. The league's wide open, so I think just, you know, just stay in the course and just, like Coach says, just keep grinding and keep doing the same things. I think next year we have a chance to be real successful, hopefully win the league.